Hello guys, this is Indigenet. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going ahead and um, doing custom uniforms. So basically, like cop uniforms, civilian uniforms, medic uniforms, uh, you name it. So <clears throat> you want to open up your mission file. And uh, once you're just basically here, you want to open up the yeah, the functions.hpp and you're going to want to go ahead and look for functions okay so now we found functions here you want to do it make a new class and call it uniforms color all right and then save that all right so uh next step is just want to go to so you want to open up the core folder, you want to go to functions and you're going to want to make a new file so control n and make a new file, drag it over to you and what you're going to want to do is you, you can basically just save that uh, yeah, do actually save this first yeah, call functions and then name it uniform color dot sqf make sure you actually put fn at the start of it all right <clears throat> so once you've done that you're going to want to basically say custom uniforms for civilians civilians medics and cops um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and uh, hashtag include uh, <clears throat> macro dot h okay and you're going to want to uh, this will all be in the description so you don't really need to write this out but define fetch cons is basically for the database to get all the uh, variables so so we're going to be adding in the medic uniforms so if side player so it's going to check the player side to see if it is independent which is the medics then it's going to execute this so if their player side is medic then we want to go ahead and check if they have the uniform so uniform uniform player uh, is equal to the uniform then we want it to do this okay so we're going to save it we're going to find out what clothing the medics get so load out medic or medic load here is medic load out so they get the u range master then we're gonna you can change this uh, so guys to find the armor free clothing you, should, you can just search up uh, clothing class names and google actually has it but you can just click this link here and you can find out what clothing you want them to wear so we're going to do this one for example because this is the first one i see then if their clothing is this and it, so it doesn't overwrite the current one existing and then you're going to want to open up medic loadout you can replace it like this or just add it into the shop then it's going to go ahead and player uh set object um, i think it's texture oops texture global so it's gonna change the texture globally to and make sure you have a texture for this so we're just gonna do textures slash uh, medic slash medical to medic uniform dot paa so 
once you've done that, I'm just gonna, for now, because I don't have any medic uniforms, we're just gonna use the normal medic uniform and convert it to a .paa. So let me convert this to a uh, PAA. Medic uniform dot PAA. Okay. So if you've done that, you can do medic and just drag it in there. And delete that. Make sure it works. All right, there we go. Textures medic. All right. Now we're going to do uh, police and civilian. Okay, so now we're going to be adding a police uniform uh, for certain ranks. So we, add, we don't need it. Uh, so we're going to be checking if the uh, side of the player is west, which is police. Then if uh, uniform player is um <clears throat> a sec if you know, all right is equal to and let's find the uniform for example we can use this And now we're going to open up loadout cop cop load cop loadout. Actually, we're just going to use U range master. That'll be easier. Okay. So once you've got U range master, you can uh, for certain levels you can just do this. And um, uh, since we've already defined fetch constant, we can just do. Fetch const life underscore cop level equals equals and then level of one, two, three. We'll be doing level one. So this would be either corporals or cadets. If you want public cops, then you can do uh, zero and then do the same for one. So public cops and whitelisted cops. Uh, get this. Don't worry about us. I need that. Then why don't you? My bad. Then it's going to go ahead and set the then uh, player set object texture global to zero. And then you're going to want to. I'm just seeing, like I said before, I don't have any textures, so we're just going to be using the default ones, which come with a mod. But obviously, if you have your own textures, you can use those textures. Save as, and you can just do cop uniform. .paa. And don't forget, guys, if you have a JPEG, convert it to a .paa. They're just smaller file sizes. Like, I'll do an example. Uh, cop uniform has 158 kilobytes. And this one is 138. So, there we go. Um, I'm just going to set to textures. Police. And... Cop uniform dot PA cop uniform dot PA and that'll basically add it for cops. Okay, so now you can just repeat this, copy this, change it, blah blah blah. You guys get it. Then you can do the same for sieves if you want to. Uh that'll be the same process except this is civilian and then check if the uniform and then get a uniform from here. Add it to your shop, blah blah blah. Remove this, just copy this one. I'd recommend so. Okay, you can just save that file now. Then uh, next, we're gonna be going into our init civilian. Then at the end here, you want to do a not call 
Oops, let me do that. And that call um, life FNC and score uniforms color. So basically, when they spawn in, it's gonna go ahead and scan the file. It's gonna run the file basically. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then add it into init comp. Um, right here. And then medic as well. Okay, so now we're going to be putting this into a lot of files. Alright, so we're going to do save loadout. We're going to add it into here. Um, we're going to add it into uh, cop loadout. Load oh, cop load. Load out, save it in there. And then we're gonna add it into inventory. Closed, add it there. Inventory opened, add it there. So basically, when they open their inventory or close their inventory, it's gonna run this command here. Just to make sure that the ha they have the uh, textures loaded, so when they respawn, it's also going to scan it. Uh, when they change clothes, it's going to scan it. Uh, when they buy clothes, it's going to scan it. Um, when they're in the clothing menu, and player add uniform, life in school, and old clothes, they're going to scan it. Uh, yeah. Um, is that right? Yeah, well, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then you can add it to the bottom as well. Um, and then medic loadout. Okay, we've already done that. No, we haven't. Boom, okay. So, there you are, you're done. You can go in game and all the text should, text should, should load. If there's any issues, comment them down below. And, um, yeah, hopefully, you guys have a uh, nice time. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.